Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes China urges prudent, steady yuan adoption, but wheels remain in motion. China US military hotline is good news in a sea of bad. China's richest provinces promise to take lead in driving growth. Red Sea attacks, China's Indian Ocean vulnerability can be its strength. Chinese to skip flying overseas in 2024 even as domestic travel booms. China urges prudent, steady yuan adoption, but wheels remain in motion. South China Morning Post Former officials and analysts in China have urged Beijing to promote the use of the yuan abroad by deeper penetration into emerging markets with loans and swap deals. They argue that China should take a more pragmatic approach to expanding the overseas influence of the Chinese currency while remaining cautious and prepared to mitigate risks. The focus should be on risk management and serving the real economy, rather than pursuing internationalization for the sake of it. The yuan's internationalization has increased rapidly since its initial adoption for trade settlements in 2009 but it still lags behind the US dollar and the euro in terms of global usage. China-US military hotline is good news in a sea of bad. Bloomberg The military leaders of China and the US have held discussions for the first time in over a year. The head of the People's Liberation Army, General Liu Xunli, and the US chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Air Force General C.Q. Brown, spoke for around an hour about the need for good relations between the forces. Military-to-military communications were cut off following Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan in August 2022. The agreement to restore them came out of last month's summit between Chinese leader Xi Jinping and US President Joe Biden, but took weeks to consummate. China's richest provinces promise to take lead in driving growth. Bloomberg Chinese provinces have outlined their priorities for 2024 with several wealthy regions pledging to take the lead in driving national economic growth. Provinces such as Xijiang and Guangdong have responded to the central government's call for economically strong regions to play a pivotal role in supporting the national economy by pledging to boost infrastructure investment and grow in high-value-added sectors. Meanwhile, less developed and debt-ridden provinces have promised to help local economies recover and prevent risks from spiraling out of control. The provincial figures will offer clues to China's national growth target for 2024. Red Sea Attacks, China's Indian Ocean Vulnerability Can Be Its Strength South China Morning Post China does not need to join the US-led coalition to protect ships in the Red Sea from Houthi attacks, according to a senior colonel of China's People's Liberation Army, PLA. Writing in the South China Morning Post, Senior Colonel Jubo argues that joining the operation would compromise China's position on the Israel-Hamas war and endanger Chinese ships. Instead, China should maximize cooperation with other stakeholders and work to protect its interests by blending them with the interests of others. The PLA Navy has conducted joint exercises with several navies in the Indian Ocean, including Russia, Iran and Pakistan. Chinese to skip flying overseas in 2024 even as domestic travel booms. Bloomberg China's aviation market is recovering as the pandemic subsides, however, analysts are concerned about the outlook for 2024. International travel demand remains weak due to a sluggish economy, weaker currency, and high ticket prices. Morgan Stanley does not expect China's international air travel to fully recover until 2025. While air travel within China is strong, international travel is expected to recover gradually. The Lunar New Year break in February is expected to provide a boost, as China's main holiday is traditionally a busy time for travel. Peering into the crystal ball, 10 national security predictions for 2024. Foreign Policy Foreign Policy's SITREP has made predictions about some of the biggest national security challenges of 2024. The first prediction is that Joe Biden will narrowly win the US presidential election for a second term. Secondly, they predict that North Korea will conduct its seventh nuclear test. Thirdly, they predict that there will be more coups in Africa's coup belt, with Chad being the next country to fall. Fourthly, they predict that Sudan's military leader, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, will be ousted. Fifthly, 
they predict that there will be a stalemate in Ukraine's conflict with Russia. Sixthly, they predict that more funds will be unlocked for Ukraine from the $300 billion in assets from Russian oligarchs that regulators have frozen. Seventhly, they predict that the Israel-Hamas war will not expand to a full second front involving Hezbollah. Eighthly, they predict that there will be more dangerous maneuvers in the South China Sea by Chinese vessels. Ninthly, they predict that Sweden will finally join NATO. Lastly, they predict that the global health community will go on the offensive against malaria, making progress towards eliminating the disease by 2030. China's ocean drilling ship Mingxiang aims to be first to reach Earth's mantle. South China Morning Post China has launched its first ocean drilling vessel, the Mingxiang, which is designed to explore the Earth's crust and attempt to reach the upper mantle. If successful, this would be the first time humans have ventured into the mantle and could provide new insights into Earth science research. The Mingxiang was produced by the China Geological Survey and over 150 research institutes and companies. It can carry 33,000 tons of cargo and travel 15,000 nautical miles. Its drilling capabilities are unparalleled, with the ability to reach 11,000 meters below the sea's surface. The Mohorovicic discontinuity, or Moho, is the boundary between the mantle and crust and has yet to be breached. Deep ocean drilling has provided new insights into Earth's structure, and rock samples from ultra-deep boreholes have been crucial for understanding plate tectonics, oceanic crust evolution, ancient ocean climates and seabed resources. Electric car companies from China are flocking to Hong Kong. Bloomberg Chinese electric car companies are setting up in Hong Kong to take advantage of the city's financial system, investing more than $1 billion and creating hundreds of jobs. Hong Kong's financial sector and capital flows can help EV companies, where mainland banks cannot, according to Xu Haidong of the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers. Chinese EV makers are expanding rapidly as overseas sales grow, with BYD and Great Wall Motor looking to localize production in Europe. Foreign exchange controls mean money cannot be freely moved in or out of China, but Hong Kong falls outside these regulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees World, here to bring you the latest news and analysis from around the globe. In today's news, China is urging a prudent and steady adoption of the yuan abroad, recognizing the need for risk management and serving the real economy. While the yuan's internationalization has made progress, it still lags behind the US dollar and the euro. Meanwhile, military communications between China and the US have been restored after being cut off for over a year, signaling a positive development in their relations. Chinese provinces are also outlining their priorities for 2024, with wealthy regions pledging to drive national economic growth, while less developed provinces focus on recovery and risk prevention. Moving on, a senior colonel from China's People's Liberation Army argues that China doesn't need to join the US-led coalition to protect ships in the Red Sea, suggesting that maximizing cooperation with other stakeholders is a better approach. The recovery of China's aviation market is underway, with domestic travel booming, but international travel is expected to recover gradually. Foreign policy has made predictions for 2024, including Joe Biden winning a second term, North Korea conducting its seventh nuclear test, and more dangerous maneuvers in the South China Sea by Chinese vessels. On a scientific note, China has launched its first ocean drilling vessel, aiming to explore the Earth's crust and potentially reach the upper mantle, providing new insights into Earth science research. Lastly, Chinese electric car companies are flocking to Hong Kong to take advantage of its financial system and capital flows, with over $1 billion invested and hundreds of jobs created. This move allows these companies to bypass mainland China's foreign exchange controls. In conclusion, China continues to navigate various challenges and opportunities, from currency internationalization to military communication, economic growth to scientific exploration. As always, I encourage you, my dear viewers, to share your thoughts and questions. What are your thoughts on China's approach to Yuan internationalization? How do you see the restoration of military communications between China and the US impacting their relations? 
And what do you make of Chinese electric car companies flocking to Hong Kong? I eagerly await your input. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.